Hi, welcome. Um, in this video, I'm going to go through problem 17. And in problem 17, it says, the figure above shows the graph of F. As I've preached in other videos, please pay attention to what is given. So F is given. Okay. And F is defined as the integral from 2 to X of G of T dt. Um, which of the following could be the graph of Y equals G of X? Now, notice that you do not need to um, integrate f to get to g. In fact, you need to integrate g to get to f, and what you're given is f. So to get to g, we must differentiate f, right? And, of course, f prime of x um, by the fundamental theorem of calculus is going to be g of x. So y equals g of x that we're trying to graph is the derivative of f. Well, we don't know what the derivative of f is exactly, but because f is a positively sloped straight line, um, we know that it's going to be, its derivative is going to be its slope. Uh, and therefore, f prime, which is g, is just going to be some m and we know that that m is positive because f is positively sloped. And g, g of x, again, is the derivative of f. Um, and therefore, just the m, if we were to write f of x in mx plus b form, and we should be able to, right? Because look at it, it's a, it's a line. Um, and, and that could be written in uh, slope-intercept form. And again, g could take the derivative of this is going to be m and obviously you need to take the derivative of f to get to g um, since the integral of g from 2 to x is equal to f okay I'm beating a dead horse at this point so invent whatever positive value there's only one graph that should match this uh, y equals m for a positive value of m should be a horizontal line uh, parallel to the x-axis above the x-axis so um, this is what I mean so we know that y equals m, let me put on my x-axis. Uh, let's say that the x-axis is like right here. Then while I do not know the value of m, I know it's positive. So it's gotta be some horizontal line above the x-axis. So that's gotta be the graph of g. And there's, again, I said, this should not be confusing. There should not be two positive um, horizontal two um, functions that are horizontal that have positive y values there should only be one and yes it's a because this isn't it this isn't it this isn't it this would have been it if that line was above the x-axis and of course in my visual here I did too much because I don't know about f to the left of zero so I should have only drawn it in the first quadrant but you get it so it's obviously a okay I hope this explanation made sense. Take care.